Hey my fit friends, welcome to another Cooking with Carrie episode. We are making some Alfredo sauce tonight. So not coconut milk Alfredo sauce, legit, co legit Alfredo sauce. So I wanna say hi and welcome, thanks for joining me. If you know anybody that would love to make some Alfredo sauce that is really fast, really healthy, share this broadcast, I would really appreciate that. In case you don't know who I am, I am Dr. Carrie Burroughs. I am a former fat girl, well over 225 pounds. It took me a full year to lose 100 pounds. I'm gonna do a timeout right there because I know a lot of people are like, I need to lose this amount of weight. It took me a year to lose 100, a year. It's a long game. So if you need to lose 30, 40, 50, and then some, you have to think about those numbers. If anyone is saying lose 40 pounds in 20 or 30 days, that's a big time out, okay? So be realistic with where you are and where you wanna be. There has to be some work that has to be done. You cannot lose that weight safely and effectively and keep it off by doing radical things. Okay, back on topic. So I am Dr. Carrie Burroughs. It took me a year to lose over 100 pounds. Um, I gained it back, I got pregnant, I had twins, yada yada, uh, and then I worked hard to get it all off again. So it is possible, it is my job to help you get healthy in the safest amount of time with as many options so you don't feel deprived. So thanks, for much, thanks so much for joining me. Let me know that you're here so I can say a quick hello. But I'm just gonna tell you, Metabolism Reset Plan starts for March now. So you have until I think Sunday to jump in on the Metabolism Reset Plan. You can get 100 recipes. You guys, that's like three cookbooks of recipes. Plus, you get all of our online support in our private forum where I share more recipes. You get access to your fit friends so that if you have questions, they can answer. You're not winging it. You're not guessing. You're not kind of hanging in the breeze thinking, well, maybe I should do this or maybe I should do that. You get your answers. So you get all of these recipes. So there's no depredation. So for the next 30 days, you have, what, you have over 100 recipes. So there is always something good to eat. I promise you. You also get your daily workout, your wad, with yours truly. So you have your food, you have your fitness, and you have your support. That's the trifecta of success. Any other program that you are going to attempt to try that doesn't deliver on all three facets won't get you to the finish line because you're gonna be missing one of those elements. And I want you to join Metabolism Reset Plan because it works. It absolutely works. There's nothing, I don't want you to buy anything else. I want, you to, I want you to get the recipes, I want you to get the meal plan, and I want you to do the workouts. You don't have to do the workouts, you can do whatever workouts you wanna do. But having the support and having people answer your questions so that you know you're on track and that you stay on track is so, so key. Having a, che a team cheering you on is unbelievable. To have that support, people in the trenches where you are knowing how you feel and that they've overcome it, game changer. Absolutely a game changer. So head over to metabolismresetplan.com. Take a look, go look at our fit friends. Go look at some of those testimonials and before and afters. They're incredible, they're real people. People that work, you know, 12, 14, 16 hours a day, shift workers. People that have multiple children that are stuck with tight timelines. It can happen, I want you to eat real food. I want you to do real functional movement, nothing crazy. Just get results, that's it. The most results in the shortest amount of time in this healthiest and safest possible way. So that's Metabolism Reset Plan. If you have questions, let me know. I wanna answer your questions. Leave them below or head over and send me an email or a message at the website. So that's that. I'm gonna put this over. So a month or so ago, we did an Alfredo sauce, but we used coconut milk, okay? So we used coconut milk, and I know a lot of people aren't keen on coconut milk. So we are sans coconut milk, and we're not using any nuts. So my nut allergy friends, you don't have to worry. This is nut free, paleo, gluten free. So we are all safe, okay? We are absolutely safe. So I made this earlier and this is it, guys. This is the Alfredo sauce. This is it. We're gonna do it live. I've got it cooking. We're gonna go over it quickly. But let's just go over Alfredo sauce, one cup. I don't have a measuring device. Oh, big surprise. Um, one cup of Alfredo sauce, which isn't all that much, ranges between 900 to a thousand calories. Here's a cup. This is what it is. This is it. That's all a cup is, people. And this will likely go on if you're going to a restaurant, if you're going, sorry, Alberta, but you're just my first bit of reference. This is what will actually probably be on your pasta. So you're looking at a thousand calories of sauce and junk and additives or whatever else, plus your pasta, which comes in around 200 to 300 calories, depending on what kind of pasta and how it was made. You are tipping the scales 1200, 1300, 1400 calories. That's on the sly side. 
there's more that can be put in there we just don't even know so we can cut that completely cut it not lose the taste and still have that feel i talked to a lot of people this week and i want to go over this really quick we get into this mindset of deprivation like i really need this and we put so much value on certain foods and they might be comfort foods or they might be foods that we just kind of we see an ad or someone's talking about it and then it goes on that hamster wheel we're like i just like having this i just like having this you know we i keep coming week after week after week to give you guys options you can't put so much value in these traditional foods we i've given you swaps and they taste great you have to get your head around it you know and if you're gonna have a pity party but i really like this you know what and you're not willing to try the alternative then you are where you are because of the choices you make i have no sympathy for that at all okay if you're not willing to try you gotta own it where you are if you are sick if you are miserable uncomfortable your joints hurt your blood sugar is sky high blood pressure whatever the problem you are miserable getting dressed in the morning that is a you problem because you're not willing to do the work this is some tough love, but I'm so frustrated because you guys aren't willing to try. So I just want you to try. You have 30 days with me. It's a money back guarantee. If it doesn't work, you get your money back. Done, easy peasy, right? Nothing to lose. But these are alternatives because I know you get so, I wanna eat this and I wanna eat this. We're gonna have Alfredo. Last week we had something else. The week before that, you can go through all of these videos and go see them again. There's options. I am never hungry. I'm never looking for certain foods because there are options. It's just about how you think about it. You know, so when you quit that stinking thinking, the game changes. I'm telling you the game changes because your goals are so clear. When you wake up happy, when you wake up with energy, you're not always looking for that next fix because you just, it's like, I'm going to eat this. I'm going to be full. I'm going to move on. Okay. I know I'm trying not to, we've got to get cooking. We're going to get cooking. We're going to do this. Before we get cooking, I have to share this with you. This seasoning, okay, it's McCormick. Canadians, you can get McCormick seasoning. I know you can. Rotisserie chicken flavor, no MSG, no junk in it. Y'all, you have to get this seasoning. I'm telling you, this tastes exactly like rotisserie chicken. Exactly like rotisserie chicken. It is McCormick, perfect pinch, no MSG. Uh, it's salt, onion, spices, paprika, garlic. Uh, Put this on your chicken. If you want rotisserie chicken, this is easy. I did the George Foreman grill, covered it. We are good to go. Flavor town. Trust me on this one. I never lead you astray with the flavor. I'm honest. This is it. Go get some of this for sure. Okay, so Alfredo sauce. Let's get into it. If you haven't shared this broadcast, I would love for you to share it. Uh, let's inspire someone to get healthy. Let's inspire someone to get off the couch or to make a meal and see that there are options. Okay, good. So this is what we've got going, Alfredo sauce. Alfredo sauce, easy. We have got, in my pan or my pot, I did a tablespoon, you can do butter, I like grass-fed butter, or an oil, olive oil, avocado oil, coconut oil. We're gonna heat that up. You're gonna put in two to three cloves of crushed garlic. I needed to cook it before because you didn't want to be with me all night. So if you're gonna cook that, I will post the recipe as I always do, but let's just go. So we did a teaspoon of the oil or butter. I did two to three cloves of crushed garlic. Soften it. You don't want it to get brown because then it tastes funny. You're going to put in a cup of water and then you're going to put in your cauliflower. So, quick pro tip. Hold on a second. I love cauliflower, but this is already riced. So, this was $2. If you don't have time, this is what you do. You pick this up. It's frozen. It is just cauliflower. This goes in the microwave for four minutes to soften. But if you don't want to do that, you have cauliflower. I just need you to chop it up. You're going to do about this much, which is about 10 ounces, 10 to 20 ounces, um, 10 to 12 ounces, sorry, of the cauliflower. You're going to put it in your pan, your pot, and let it soften until it's fork tender. That's it. So that's all I've got in here. I'm not going to, I'm not spilling it tonight, people. I'm not burning myself, and I'm not spilling it tonight. So that's all you do. So that's quick. It was butter or oil, garlic, soften it, one cup of water. I did, which would be about a small head of cauliflower, chopped, riced, whatever you like. Just the florets, not the stem. Soften it until it's about fork tender, okay? We're good? All right, so we're gonna put this into a blender. Not magic bullet, because it'll blow the seam. You need to have a traditional blender, or you could do an immersion blender, but make sure your pot is deep enough so that you are not spraying, okay? So this is going in here. 
Easy peasy. We are putting this back onto the blender. I'm going to keep this soft. I'm going to mix it and then I'm going to season it. Okay? So stand by. So a teaspoon, but you're going to have to taste and adjust to your seasoning life. So I've got pink Himalayan salt going in. I'm probably going to do a tablespoon of garlic powder, not salt. All right. Garlic powder, not salt, or you will swell up like a blowfish. Okay. Amanda Redder says, where did you get the rice to cauliflower? Walmart. And you can get this at any grocery store now, Trader Joe's, Walmart, Publix for my Florida friends, anywhere. $2. It is rice. You cook it in the bag for four minutes. All right, so we'll do a teaspoon and then we can do a little bit. Oh, that's way more than a teaspoon. That's fine. We're doing a tablespoon. We like garlic. It's healthy. You don't know, have to be authentic. I'm going to do a couple cracks of pepper in here, and that is it. Get this back on. We're going to give it another spin. So zucchini, this is one zucchini, this is about 33 calories compared to pasta, which would only be this much. Pasta is 200, 300 calories. You see this? Look, we're doing some, we're doing some carry math here. 200 to 300 calories, one cup of pasta. 33 calories for all of that zucchini. You'll be so full, you will not eat this. You will not eat this. So this is 33, three, three. 33 calories. Pasta, one cup, 200, 300 calories. Do I need to say anything else? We got it, we're clear? Who can't math is good? Okay, so this is one zucchini, spiralized, done. You can throw this in a little frying pan, saute it, you could pop it in the microwave to soften it. I like it a little crunchy, a little al dente myself. Um, whatever you like. If you cook it too long in the frying pan, it will get soggy. So it's a quick in and out. Microwave, quick, in and out. So look at it, see it. You don't want it to be translucent because then it'll be too blah, 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 blah. So why is zucchini great other than it is super low in calorie? It is very hydrating, great source of potassium. We've got some vitamin C, vitamin D, great antioxidant, anti-inflammatory. So great, because it's a volume food, like this is a lot. This is a lot right here. It's a volume food. You will feel fuller, quicker, longer. The fiber and everything that's going in here, it's going to help regulate your blood sugar so you're not going, because when you go to Olive Garden, again, no hate to Olive or shade to Olive Garden, when you go there, you eat your meal, you're like, oh, I'm so tired. Huh? Then within an hour, two hours, you're hungry again because it's converted right to insulin, right? So here, it's going to stay with us and keep, keep us full, okay? So this, compared to pasta, is such a better choice. Spaghetti squash, again, the same thing. Uh, two cups of spaghetti squash is about 50 calories. You can't go wrong with that. It's very filling. So helps regulate your blood sugar. Thyroid adrenal problems. This is a great food for you. Blood pressure, hypertension, things like that. This is such a great nourishing thing. Affordable. It's not expensive. You can get it at any grocery store. It's easy. Okay, so I'm going to pour a little bit of this hot stuff on here. I won't eat all of it. Look, look, this is creamy. Legit creamy. Can we see this? I'm going to give it to you. Season it, taste it, recheck it. Look, can you see that? Can you see that? Oh. So, like I said, I did some chicken in the George Foreman. 
I use my rotisserie. Um, listen, when you go buy your rotisserie and you go and make your, your chicken and you get this seasoning, you need to tag me and let me know that you love it, okay? I got that, I got this, we are going to town. If you have questions, let me know. Let me know if you have questions right now. I'm getting in here. But again, you could warm this up so that you are not eating it. But this makes a great, I would chop up my chicken so I have a good source of protein. Cheers, let's go. Mm. If you're looking for that creamy, feel, this is it. But you need to pair it with some protein so you do feel full. Share this broadcast because somebody needs to make Alfredo or you need to tag someone so they make you some Alfredo because this would be a great meal to have. This is easy. I use my George Foreman over here. I need some protein. I have some chicken. So let me know if you have any questions right now. Questions? Uh, Kevin says, greetings from Toronto, Carrie. Very good presentation from your Warren Park school friend. Hey, thanks Kevin. Warren Park, I miss, I miss Toronto in the summer. Not now, not, not in March. I don't miss Toronto in March. Guys, yeah. this is so easy. Can we not do this? Garlic and oil in a pan. Let it warm up. A cup of water. I did 12 ounces or this bag of cauliflower. Soften it. Cook it till it's soft. Pork tender into your blender, mash it up. A little salt, a little pepper, some garlic, done. How did the kids like it? They loved it. They loved it. Everybody ate their dinner. Everybody ate dinner. You guys, I'm telling you, all the recipes I do are all kid tested, kid approved. Nothing gets by them. They're, they're kids, they're, we've got a teen, we've got some preteens. They all test everything, they get it all. Look, creamy chicken now. Guys, this is so good. I'm telling you, you have to make this. Can I take you, Carrie, to make it for me? <laughs> Who was that? Was Amanda. That Amanda Redder? Redder, of course, I will make some of this for you. You can come over anytime, Amanda Redder, and make this for you. It's easy, right? We can totally make this. But get creative. I know some of you don't like that coconut. We did the coconut chicken, um, coconut Alfredo chicken sauce. This is just a great one. This is very neutral. If you want other seasonings, get creative. Put them in there. You don't need that cheese. You don't need the gross ingredient. You don't need any of it. All right, this is simple. It's pure. You're gonna feel good. You're gonna get your energy back. You're eating for nourishment. You're not eating to fill some emotional void, right? Can we just have a minute with that one? Just a minute. You're eating for nourishment fuel yourself. You're eating for energy. You are not eating to fill an emotional void. So that's a big one. I hope you have an aha moment with that one because pizza or wine or ice cream or brownies will never fix your bad day. They will not fix your childhood. None of it. Okay. It makes you miserable. Honestly, it does. Okay. If you're not sharing this broadcast, share it. Head over to Metabolism Reset Plan. I'm just going to keep eating Alfredo. That is like super healthy. Okay. Quickly, where are my biscuits? I made biscuits too, y'all. I made biscuits. I made biscuits. If you are one of my fit friends, you'll get the recipe. But if not, leave a number one comment if you want me to post the gluten-free paleo biscuits. Let me know. Who wants some biscuits? Who wants a biscuit recipe? Biscuit recipes on deck? Yes? We can do this. We can do this. Biscuits? I went through a lot of hockey pucks, my friends, to get the right recipe. Lots of hockey pucks were had. Uh, it was it was pretty bad. Hold on, this one. This is look. You ready for this one? That's it. That was a hobby book. But the ones that you are getting are these ones. Okay, I'm not gonna say Red Lobster. Kind of. Okay. But kind of. I would say Red Lobster. Yeah. Pretty good. Okay, we're pretty close. Super quick recap. So if you haven't shared it, I'd love for you to share it. If you have not have, have visited Metabolism Reset Plan, head over there, metabolismresetplan.com, carryburrows.com. Join my newsletter. I send out information a couple times a week, um, recipes, fitness information, health information. I would love for you to join that newsletter. But if you want the biscuit recipe, you need to leave a number one. I need some number ones, or I need some wow faces or something. I need some kind of something. We're getting some ones. I need some ones. We want some biscuits. These are legit biscuits, friends. Legit. One bowl, 
Easy peasy, they're drop biscuits, so there's no kneading out. These ones were the ones with the rolling pin. Brenda said, uh, post it on Facebook. Y'all, my fit friends, y'all get it. My, my fit friends, my metabolism reset, my squad, y'all will get this, don't you worry, don't worry. Okay, so quick recap on our Alfredo. I will post it, but just in case. In a small saucepan, I warmed up a teaspoon of oil or butter, your choice, coconut, whatever floats your boat. Two to three cloves of crushed garlic. Let it warm up and soften. Then I added one cup of water, and I put 12 ounces of cauliflower. I use this stuff because I don't have time to be chopping and having cauliflower all over my counter. Got it in the frozen food section, easy peasy. Warm that up for four minutes, put it into my saucepan, kept cooking. It's about 10 to 12 minutes to get it to the right consistency, that fork tender. Put it into my blender, smashed it up in the blender, took it off the blender. I put in my salt, my pepper, and some garlic powder, remixed it, taste adjusting. You might want something else. Maybe you like red pepper flakes. Maybe you want something else. Maybe you want more Italian seasoning. You can go and get after that. Whatever you like, readjust it, and that was it. Zucchini noodles, zucchini zoodles. One is about 40 calories, 30 calories. All of this food, super delicious, filling, lots of fiber. Um, you can heat them up, quick fry, microwave to soften, or eat it raw, no big deal. Easy, done. My chicken was on the George Foreman, and I use my new favorite, my rider die right now, rotisserie chicken by McCormick. You can get it, get it and tag me because I want to know that you love it. Okay, any questions? Okay, did you leave some number ones? Did we got some number ones? Have you shared this broadcast? Come on, give me some hearts now, people. Give me some hearts. All right, so on deck coming up, we've got shamrock shakes coming up. What? Shamrock shakes. Happy March, my fit friends. Spring break is around the corner for a lot of people, so I hope you are ready. Get your mind right. Because summer is around the corner, and if you want to get your summer ship on, you need to come on over to Metabolism Reset Plan. Start now. Get your head in the game. A little high school musical reference for those that care. Um, join us so that you can be summer ready. Don't be miserable in summer. Don't be covered up. Start now and get ahead of the game, okay? A hundred recipes. You get a daily workout with me. Support daily. If you have questions, please let me know. This is it for me. I will post the recipes. Join the newsletter, carryburrows.com. And as always, guys, I'm always open to hearing any recipes from you or something you'd like me to make over. I'm all about the makeover. So leave me a comment if you there's something that you want to have that, you, that needs a makeover. We can totally do that. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I love you guys. Eat healthy, make this, and tag me, and let me know what you think. All right, have a good night.